On the 9th of February, 1968, the following UFO report was sent to U.S. Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara. It represents a case involving cattle prior to those events reported throughout 1975 by ranchers in the state of Colorado. Dear Sir, I reside on a farm approximately 30 miles north of Kansas City, Missouri. The residence is approximately one quarter of a mile back from the highway with a pasture in front of the dwelling. I am employed in town and operate a cowherd and all grass farm. If there is a disturbance among the cattle, I arise to their bawling as would a mother to her crying child. Last night I heard several cows bawl as a frightened or scared. I immediately jumped out of bed and ran to the picture window in my living room. It was a dark night, but there was a distinct glow giving off considerable light immediately in front of the house, approximately 300 to 350 feet away. It made sufficient light for me to maneuver around the card table left in the middle of the room and to see the cattle in the pasture in a rough semicircle to the left of the light glow. As my vision adjusted from darkness to this moderate light, I was able to see parts of what appeared to be a tremendous circular object, reproduced as best I can on the attached sketch. The light was a yellowish green and came from the concave side of the craft. I could not tell whether it came from the translucent surface or was reflected from the base of the craft against a shiny surface and then back to the ground. In any event, there was sufficient light to see the major limbs on some of the walnut trees, a stump, the cows, the fence in the foreground, and other details. The object appeared to be at least 100 feet in diameter and to be hovering 20 to 25 feet above the ground although I could not say that it was not on the ground or possibly higher in the air. There were definitely seven openings or portholes in the approximate center of the concave side. Their spacing would indicate that if the craft were in fact round, there were probably 16 of these equally spaced around the craft. I could not see distinctly enough to see if they were square, rectangular, oval, or round. It was difficult to arrive at a perspective to judge their size but I would guess that they were two feet to approximately 30 inches in diameter. I saw no door or distinct opening. I saw no living thing enter or depart the craft. I have no idea whether I watched half a minute or five minutes. I was so entranced by the sight. I have been losing a cow or two now and then, undoubtedly stolen without a trace. My first reaction on hearing the cows was that someone was among them. On seeing the craft, I remember thinking, no wonder I have found no evidence. They are being hauled off by air. At that point, I had no idea of what I saw as being a possible UFO, but rather as some monstrous helicopter or other craft. Some of the cows were staring at the object from perhaps one or two hundred feet away. Cows with younger calves were bawling and some of the calves were answering. Finally, one cow whirled and ran with tail high towards the barn. The others followed and in only a few seconds, there were no cattle in sight. The craft remained some little time after the cows departed but I have no idea whether this was half a minute or considerably longer. It was during this time that I concentrated on the object in an attempt to make out all the details that I could. All during this time, there had been a distinct noise that I had difficulty in describing. It sounded something like the swish of a piece of wire which one might whirl around above his head at a high speed, and yet it had a pulsating rhythm of some kind. When the craft departed, this noise became two or three times louder, and the sound of pulsations were more rapid. The craft moved away rapidly to the southwest, arising at about a 45-degree angle without the craft being tilted in any way from the horizontal position it had maintained at or above ground level. R.W. Bland. R.F.D. 1. Gower, Missouri.